Can you bring a little Bible daily? No, a kind of Nishali Nami Yabo, no slowers cacane. Of course, I'm having a daughter, I'm a no more Pindi, no tail, no right girls. Yes, I'm the right girls. I'm trying to see the fund of Kulumag sex. Tina inch as the fund of sex, a colony, a macaya, you know, my internet canja, Loraja. So, not the case of the Raja in the sex. Oh, my pump was seen again. We tell us it is sex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, I did not learn about sex from my parents. Mm -hmm. Like, I learned about sex from Umganwami. Mm -hmm. And she taught me everything there is to know about sex. Wow. She's still teaching me even today. <laughs> so, like, masturbation, blowjobs, um, contraception. <laughs> She's my person. She's like my sexual dictionary, actually. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, I call her that, you know? And I think what I love about her, though, is that she's so patient with yeah. me. Mm. So sometimes I feel like my questions are so basic. Like, you're asking this and you're so old, mm. but she's still so patient with me. No, so yeah. she's true. my person. And Bella Benga Kokona Abazala, Abaso Guazo Kulumanat, and be mm. patient with us, Oma sitting, setting a little sexual dictionary layers of Chelo with what's up with sex. But I'm Nunga Kojemelung as a man. I can't look back. So, me, I experience, and you learn from experience. You see, mm. it's different. Cotting a Kumula, Kumula Jele came a layer. Mukuku, my Yazisha Mukuku. So, must you allow my corner so speech as a fan of Bezzi? As in, I found it bad. Who am ninety? Yes, we were ninety. Where was I? Because yeah. I didn't play yeah. these games. That's a good question. Well, it's good Pindi. for you because you didn't get caught. You get caught actually by Abazal, Abalokubek Shire, because of the mm. fact that the local Zaleleo came there. Mm. Yeah. But since you're being honest, I'm going to tell the truth, mm. right? I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to tell the truth. I'm going to tell the truth. That's a beautiful rich can you know it's just one of those memories, but I know Guti, there's a lot of shame and guilt behind what I saw. Hence, mm. I'm only able to confess it now. That yes. Yes. Shame was yes. Talking about the shame part, it's only now that I'm engaged. Mm. <laughs> Keep it a ring on right. it. Sure. Um, that this with my partner true. now, he was one of the first people who was, you know, who kind of said to me, you know, what do you like in bed? Oh. Um, do you do these hey. things because of what happened in your past or do yeah. you do them because you actually like them? Mm. And let's take things slowly. So I got a sex education from him. Mm. So he oh. taught me everything from the basics to where we are now, which I think is upper grade. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Well, you know, guys, it's actually just so interesting that you just touch on that issue about yeah. coming yeah. to sex, right? Because mm. I remember in part of the research that we did, we went to Frey Haight and Haranku and mm. Haman's Kral mm -hmm. to the Rice Clubs and a lot of young women mm. spoke to us about how they came to sex through violence, right? Yeah. Through mm. molestation and rape. Mm. And it just also just speaks to the crisis that we have in South Africa, just in terms of lack of consent. You mm. know, it's very, very troubling Got that the, we learn about sex in that go way. Go you know. Yeah. I think it's just about how violent we are as a society, mm. you know, but that's just what I think. Let's hear how other young women learnt about sex. I've got the ball, I've got, got the ball. I put it here, I, I put it here, I put it here, I put it here, and I go boza, I go boza, I go boza. You know, is that like in Ifunde? Via Google. Mina, I learn sex from like social media. As for me, Nane, I download my video, my porn video, then I'm born. Guys, I sex I, I feel Uguti, our teacher, they should be more into the modest thing, like is it citizens a man? You know, they should involve a lot more into is into the technology because Tina mostly is cutting a sling. That's what we do. Semaphone in all the time. Or there should be maybe an app in kind of WhatsApp where you could ask about sex. Exactly. And another thing, like Google Gunama organization, like Arise. Then life life. 
I think I would say that we're looking like by involved in a lot of seven zangula organization because it more is we see umtwa na akulu me numuto ongati uyanga than umuto umta. Understand? So like I go kona akona ukulu me no me muskole because we talk about umuto me numta la then I go gaza akulu me zonke lezinto na but then we gaza figa game a figa akulu me over free ubuza everything. Me na kona gum explain le lokwa isna le nje la le. Me na ne? Manga busi le skate mumba ne? Inteng as jela yona, uguti. Sex is not something you do. Uguti ukiza omunyo mundo. Kose gube yinto oshuti ofuna wena guyenza, ne? From guena. Not because ofuna uguti ofuna ukiza i boyfriend ya kuguti chale naawe. Or ofuna uguti ukiza vanga na uguti uba chabli se. Uguti ofuna ukfita in. No, it's wrong. It's when the jail. You know, what struck me about that insert mm -hmm. is how no one spoke about masturbation. Yes. Yes. You know, yes. touching yourself, yes. DIY, yes. doing it for yourself. Got your virginity, virginity. Exactly. to just enjoy. Yeah. But you know what I think about my parents and how my mother Nadula and Arhuna no monde Oscar Chola. Mashiman Basile. Like that was the message that I got as a child, all you know, even even in my teens. Mm. And so, but what about for all these rules and these regulations, right? Yeah. But then when uh, there's all these changes that are mm. happening to your body mm. and you don't know what's happening. And they uvumela na na wenge pele abaza liba fitsa opening, especially my fear with sex. Yeah. That's about fitsa. For any to foot in your and job and woman, Mamma saw in the Gan and Thomas and Lassina, Sia for the Sarah, Sina Thomas and Sex. What's about another fan of who made it looks must easy, but must be paid. Well, as I'm a Zam, yeah. Could one not slap him a car with Swena or for the Ranjaning a sex? No more fees and I be but a Ranjaning eye. No, of course, you will a page in Let's Go Facebook, Litty Hashtag, Rice Talk Show, Ninga in Dow. You mean masturbation? Yeah. Sex is meant to be beautiful. It's yes. supposed to be an experience that overwhelms me. God, yes. you know. <laughs>As young people, we learn about sex from our peers, the internet, soapies, or even pornography, which means most of the time we're getting incorrect or false information. Let's hear what you guys had to say on our social media pages. So we asked you, where did you first learn about sex? And here's what you had to say. So Ufifi said, my first boyfriend taught me everything about sex at the age of 17. Utandaza says, from my friends talking about it when I was 14. Go you, Utandaza, keep that discussion going. Uh, Unomsom Luko said, I learned at school at the age of 16 and I experienced it. Eight months later, I asked my mom what is kicking in my stomach. Boom, I'm pregnant. I didn't know what was happening and I gave birth to a fetal distressed boy. It was a bad experience. I wish my parents talked about it before it had happened. Thank you so, so much for sharing with us and please keep your comments coming on our social media pages with the hashtag Rice Talk Show. So now we're gonna introduce our guest for tonight, Dr. Mpume, who's a gynecologist. Let's give her a warm rise welcome, ladies. Yeah. Hello, Dr. Tampume. Oh. Thank you so much for joining us. How are you today? I'm good, thanks. How are you guys? You look amazing. Good. 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 Thank you. Oh, good. Right. Yes. I'm interested, Dr. Tampume, when was the first time you learned about sex? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't even remember. Mm, yeah. I was probably a teenager at some yeah. point. And the funny thing, it wasn't through my parents or anybody, it was through my peers, mm. through Glaluma Stosi or something yeah. like that. Yeah, just yeah. like yeah. us. Yeah. Sure. Dr. Mpume, you know, looking at this picture in the background, mm. who and all, this is how we learn about sex, right? Yeah. Through the reproductive system. But right. this is biology. This is not sex education, if we think about it. Absolutely. Why are we taught in this way? I mean, our curriculum, first of all, is in English, if you think about sure. it. Yeah. And I mean, can you imagine, how do you talk about biology? So one of the things is the lack of the language that we use. But not only that, remember, growing or grooming children should actually be happening in the homes, not at the schools. Yeah. So yeah. our parents don't know biology, yeah. but they should be 
engaging us about sex, mm -hmm. right? It's like somebody taking you to a kitchen and saying, and they yeah. show you parts. Yeah. But, but about food is peg, exactly. Yeah. So earlier on, I'm saying, I was supposed to to go to Rise Young Women's Club, right? But I couldn't manage to go to the club. But I found that I can't. Because I couldn't get to the club and get masturbation. So I said, I need masturbation firstly, and then secondly, you know, because I'm like, I'm going to go to the club and I'm going to go to the club. I found that I'm going to go to I want to answer your question the other way around. Yeah. I yeah. start by answering the importance of Ugwazum yeah. Zimbabwe. You know, I mean, a lot of us, when we even go on our periods, we have no idea oh, what's happening. So true. We have yeah. no idea. I mean, boys, when they have their, you know, wet dreams, they have no idea yes. what's happening. And yes. there's this culture of saying, fitla, 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 uh -huh. fitla. You know, I mean, and it breeds this shame so yes. that the dialogue of asking what is happening, then you understand your body, you understand what your hormones are doing. Mm. But not only that, you get confident in being a woman or mm -hmm. in being a guy yeah. about your body what's happening to it mm -hmm. then masturbation you know it's a type of it's a sexual practice mm -hmm. that yeah. where it's like an erotic stimulation of yourself yes. in the yes. areas that make you you know you must feel yourself yes. 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 <laughs> You know, um, and, and it's important because I always say it's amazing how sometimes we expect the next person uguti mm. act satisfy yes. mm. and yet you don't even know your where are your yeah. trigger yeah. points, your touch points, your yes. your, 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 your G points. Yes. You know, yeah. like, yeah. So it, it, it forms an encompassing part of know yourself, Indeed. know your body, understand your, your body. body. So, I yeah. I've got a seven year old, but, but this is the thing. I think, you know, you must just start by talking about sex to your children. Yeah. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. Have conversations about whatever you guys do on a daily yeah. so yeah. that when it's sure. time for you to talk about sex it's just the natural progression of life yeah. mm -hmm. you know and, and then we must stop using things like um it's a vagina when your child first asks you mama he uh -huh. don't say <laughs> nose ears <laughs> Petunia, yeah. <laughs> Gomo. <laughs> Who's Petunia? Yes. It's a vagina. You know, yes. we, 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 need to, we need to get back to that language. And remember, we are the ones who actually put this shame and sexualness mm. to it. Kids mm. don't have that. Exactly. Kids are just, we it's teach just the language. Shame. 100%. Yeah. But Sorry. Dr. Mpumi, I've got two important questions Wait, before on. we let you go. Before you finish those two <laughs> questions. Okay. So Uposha, she put me aside uh, during the break and she yes. wanted to ask, what are the consequences of having sex? And I really like this question. I want it answered for myself too. Sure. <laughs> sure. I think first of all, let's, let's all agree. Yeah. Sex is meant to be beautiful. It's yes. supposed to be an experience that overwhelms you no. and, and, and leaves you like, yes. oh my yes. God. Yes. Yes. You know? <laughs> but, but hear me out. <laughs> Hear me out. It has to be in an appropriate setting. Yes. The individuals must be, it must be a choice thing. It yeah. must be an informed decision. When you do things with like half information, you are likely to find yourself in trouble, yeah. right? So the consequences of sex are meant to be beautiful, but when you don't, you haven't taken the right precautions, Mm. For example, you know, unplanned, unwanted pregnancy. Mm -hmm. yeah. That could be a consequence that is negative. Whereas you can still fall pregnant in the right circumstances mm -hmm. and it's exactly. a beautiful experience, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. You know, um, things, for example, like contraction of STIs or sexually transmitted infections. I mean, yeah. this is in Deleuze, uh, come on, it's 2017, yeah. medication, mm -hmm. so information much. is, is yeah. out there. There is no reason why we should be experiencing the negatives from sex. You know, Dr. Mpume, like, Hagenana, my older generation, like my parents, Bona yeah. Nebana Lidi rites of passage that they went through, yes. and that helped them learn about sex, right? Yep. But in this day and age, there's very few and far between, and there aren't dif there are different sources of those. Yeah. So where should we be learning about sex today? First of all, I mean, we should be first and foremost be learning from our parents. Mm -hmm. It's a, They are our first trusted source. They are a comfortable and a safe environment, and they have have our vested interest at heart. So, so our families, our mm. communities, those are the first places. Secondly, obviously the healthcare sector. I mean, sometimes we 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 are not up to scratch with 
you know, whether it's our attitude towards sex, mm -hmm. uh, especially when it comes to young people, yeah. we need to clean up our act as well as the healthcare sector. Mm -hmm. And, and then the, especially, the, you know, and then the last part, which I think is quite innovative. I mean, when you think about how many, you know, women's events or men's events are happening, why do us as moms not take our daughter to those things? Yeah. Expose our children to the things that we are doing as adults. We, we may never have Ugeo Cheka, you know, the vaginas like we used to back in the day, <laughs> yeah. yes. but we still have communal things that we do on our day-to-day -day schedules mm -hmm. that can be used as platforms to teach our children mm -hmm. and make Amazing. them see what we do on a daily. Yeah. yeah, thank you so much, Dr. Mpume, for coming and sharing your knowledge with us today. Yeah. I know that as young people, we're always struggling to talk about this thing called sex. And we really don't have people who will tell us the truth. And it's so great to have someone with your knowledge and your experience come and talk to us like this. And I mean, like so let's see what our rise young woman and Malebo have to say after the break. Stay tuned. You know, most of us started having sex due to Let's talk about sex, baby. I'm Kela for Tiki Rise. Nam Sanchez is a Ubona Ugoti Yinig and Pelang and Pella and Gashinja, Abanda Abash and Gentle and Ungo to be Fundangalo or Trans. It's cut so good to see Sal and Jenga Manchino Siseto Omdala, also Oganata, and help us to actually understand the topic a lot better. Welcome to the Rise Woman and a warm welcome to Malebu. So you think Hore as a nurse, um, you are more open to these kind of conversation. Marke Hopla the first time Amaka and Pozaka sex, um play the pamphlet, um Pozaka di gonorrhea. Cauliflower, <laughs> 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 so and Arunwanaka. If you're going to have sex, these are the things that are going to happen to you. And wow. what does that do? It brings about fear, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And when you are at a place where you are ready to have sex, unahane mm gonorrhea. -hmm. So the first time you're having sex, mole ubona di cauliflower. <laughs> 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 the ladies are corner line but now buzo so i think that we should go right ahead and just hear what she's got okay. to say all right hi malebu okay. as a young woman and a single parent mm. how do you know who they can go over them would say would say one of them sex sex mm -hmm. sex mm. <laughs> <laughs> Even when you say sex, that word goes who. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was growing up, there's this song, uh, Eneri Bina. I don't know if you know it. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. <laughs> so, I mean, that's a very important question. Yeah, Hore, how Hurisang Wano Mishimani, Ubuang Liena. I want to know from you, do you think there are differences between a boy and a girl? Should we give a boy and a girl different messages mm. Mm. so that means whatever it is that you talk to your girl you talk to your boy mm. so let me just further go continue with this if there are certain things that you wanted your parents to talk to you about yeah. regarding mm. sex i guess mm. yeah what is it that you that you wish your mom would have spoken to you about according to my mama and are very protective and she's very open. Mm. So normally, okay, fine. But then, however, sex compromise. Mm. Mm. And no mm. 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 so you do a sex slave. Mm. That is the best thing. Growing up, one thing that I wish my mom told me 
was or taught me mm. was to teach me how to realize when in a man or let me say a boy is lying to me. Mm. You know, most of us started having sex due to Mm. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's no way to do it. 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 So that's one thing that I wish I shared with my mom. And I'm sure a lot of us can relate, right? Yes. There's a lot of things that we wish for my mother. Very rude, right? So it's, it's, it's a lesson on us. Hore, we need to break some certain cycles. Yeah. It's important for you to be friends with your parents. parents. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in particular as young women, but you know the question is why is it so important? The reality is, as we know, is that young women are engaged in sexual activities. Yeah. Um, they are exploring things around sex. So it's important that the education around that is wholesome because simply just talking about abstinence um, does not prepare us for things um, like unwanted um, pregnancies, yeah. um, things like um, STIs yeah. and HIV and AIDS. Mm -hmm. So a wholesome education makes sure that you own your own body. Mm. When you own your own body, you make informed decisions mm. and you have a fulfilling life for yourself and for your partner. Mm. Great, mm. amazing. You're like, as in, you sex. Okay. So, lapho bazali ngiyazi ukuzima ukuthi nekhuluma ngathi ngezocansi kodwa cela usisi uaunt ukuthi you know asiphendulele le mibizo le ngenxa ngesex. So, ningakhohlwa ukusithinta ku Facebook page yethu ithi hashtag rice talk show. Next week, same time, same place. Woof, woof.